If it bleeds, we can kill it. The Predator is directed by Shane Black and starring Boyd Holbrook, Jacob Tremblay, Olivia Munn, Trevante Rhodes, Keegan-Michael Key, Sterling K. Brown, Thomas Jane, Alfie Allen, and Augusto Aguilera. Before I go any further, I just want to say there will not be any plot spoilers in this review. This is the newest film in the Predator franchise, which goes back all the way to the original 1987 film, simply titled Predator, which starred Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers, Jesse Ventura, and also, coincidentally, Shane Black, who directed this film. And this film centers around a new Predator alien who has crash-landed here on Earth, and it is up to Boyd Holbrook and his band of misfit ex-soldiers in order to stop this Predator and find out why it's actually here. So when this film was first announced and it was told to us that he was signing on to be the director, a lot of people had rather high expectations for this film. And I can tell you that you may want to lower your expectations greatly. By lower them, I mean get them down to about zero. Because that is kind of the only way in which you can enjoy this film in any way. First off, let's start with the positives. You can actually get some fun out of this film if you just completely turn your brain off and just watch this movie as popcorn entertainment. Because that is kind of of the vibe that this film gives off. This film is just there to have great gore sequences, good action sequences, just be entertaining. This film really doesn't try to do anything other than that, which is not something that is unexpected, but I also found it to be a little bit disappointing because when you remove any sense of sincerity in this film, you really lose any type of connection that I can personally have with it. Also, the best parts of this film for me have to do with the Predator alien. All of the action sequences with him, all of the plot elements around him when it comes to his reasoning for being here on planet Earth and all of this kinds of things I found to be rather fascinating. I really like how this film adds to the overall Predator lore. And I also like the way the Predator looked. I thought the Predator looked great when it came to the costuming effects as well as some of the CGI around him. Unfortunately, there are some CGI and some action sequences that don't look very good. And that leads me to one of the major negatives I have with this film is the editing. This film is one of the most poorly constructed films I have seen all year, just from a filmmaking standpoint. I'm not talking about plot, I'm not talking about character stuff, I'm just talking about sheer construction of this film is really bad, and it all comes down to the editing. It felt like this film was edited down to its absolute bare necessities. There are moments of this film that I feel are missing from it. There are certain scene transitions or set up the scenes that are just gone. Certain dialogue sequences I feel are cut down to bare minimum and it feels like there's dialogue missing. And despite some of that dialogue missing, I actually found myself really liking the characters and their interactions, and I wanted more of that. I wanted those things to be fleshed out a little bit more, but this film really did not do that at all. When you edit a film down in such a way that this film is, you kill the pacing. This film has just awful, jagged hacked pacing where the film doesn't flow well. The film doesn't have a sense of cohesion within it. The film almost doesn't have a first act at all. The first and second acts of this film I felt are rather merged together because the first act is cut down so much you just get right into the second act. And the third act itself feels completely disjointed and disconnected somewhat with the rest of the film when it comes to tone. And this film tonally is a little bit all over the place as well. Typically, the Predator franchise is within the horror genre. It is sci-fi, horror, action, it's all of those things mixed into one. But there is almost no horror elements within this film, at least from my standpoint. There was nothing really about this film that I found to be scary in any way. And this film focuses more on the comedy. There's a lot of dark humor. This is a ragtag, R-rated bunch of guys telling dirty jokes and doing things like that. Some of it works and some of it doesn't. Like with a lot of comedies, comedy is very subjective, so it all depends on 
who you are as a person and what you deem to be funny. Like I said, one of the best aspects of this film is the camaraderie between the characters and the chemistry between the actors that I thought was very good. Unfortunately, there is one aspect of this film where an entire subplot was completely cut out of the movie without being fully developed. There are two characters that have a certain connection with one another that have a great back and forth and you can see this friendship developing and you can see that the film is using it to delve into more in-depth things but then there comes a point in the film where that is completely dropped out where these two characters don't interact with each other pretty much for the rest of the movie. That is something that I don't really see in movies, particularly mainstream movies with big budgets from big studios where certain elements of a screenplay are completely unfinished. So with all that being said, I'm going to give this film a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I like the actors, I liked the character camaraderie, I thought some of the jokes were good. The overall construction of the movie is really bad, the screenplay is not very good, and I also can't recommend this for people to spend their money on to see. That has been my review of The Predator. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.